guess it's been quite some time since 1992 came down here on my visit and uh, right back there in that door <laughs> we we're getting ready to come out and another East Tennessee guy coach Spurrier and he and he looked at us and he said yeah well Clemson LSU that you know how they got that Death Valley they call their stadium Death Valley I think I think we got to have a nickname for this place uh, think of calling it the swamp My dream was always to play big time college football. Being around the ball, having passion, you know, loving the game. A guy that was very well coached, high football IQ coming from a, a father that was as accomplished as a coach as, as Coach Bates was. I'm talking a, a fierce guy. You take the flip side of it, you know, you got a jokester. You know, it's, it's, it's very few people out there that can, you know, be a James Bates. Hey, there you guys are. This is going to be like the fifth best night of my life ever. What's up, Christina? Hey, Kyle, how you doing? Is there an echo, is there an echo you from, guys us? Sound from us? How about now? How about now? To me, you've got to be different, and the way you're different is by what you show each Saturday. And with James, we're going to be different. Can I put my hair up in like a cow lick up there and say, hey, Mr. Wilson? <laughs> it's Florida, Georgia, and I would like to have that James Bates highlighted a little bit, just kind of dance. <laughs> Can we do that? Ah, Mr. Bates, coming up on this week's edition of ACC Gridiron Live. Check your local listings, presented by the good folks at McAllister's Deli. Oh, yeah, we go. James Bates, that would be you. Yes, we'll star that. Yeah, you got to keep an open mind, but at the same time, he's always going to be entertaining. By the way, they got 45 minutes on the clock, so it ain't ending anytime soon. You're sitting there trying to tape something, and you're thinking, okay, we can tape this and move on, and we'll be done with this particular piece. And then all of a sudden, he has a light go off. All right, here we go. Hey, hey, when I throw this up here, let's Hey, don't turn up Bates' mic level until he catches it and holds it, okay? Everybody cool on that? All right, here we go. I'm ready. And when the light goes off, you just got to be prepared. And our final from the Carrier Dome, NC State 24 and Syracuse 17. With James Bates, West Durham. Great to have you with us. The Wolfpack picks up their first ACC win. Dave Doran picks up his first conference win as the Wolfpack head coach. <laughs> you never know what's next. I do realize that, that calling football games is, is a dream job. All right, here we are. Three, two. You said you were soft and you put a coat on. Basie, I got to tell you something. I really debated it, but man, I had, a, I had a bone chill going down deep. I had a feeling you would think that too, you know? I'm with you. I mean, maybe I am getting soft. I don't know. I got you back. Thanks. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Jim, thank you very much. Batesy, I got to tell you, you call the man out. You call the man out. And you know what? He comes right back at you, doesn't he? Because he's a dude. Because he's a dude like he's always said. But you know what, Coach? You can borrow my hat next time. He can yeah. borrow this yeah. hat. Yeah. He's very instinctive. And he's instinctive in not only doing games, he was instinctive as a player. He's instinctive as a guy with a creative drive to do things, whether it's painting, whether it's documentaries, whether it's working out, uh, his family. Hello family and friends, for it is I, Jake Presley Bates, or as the teammates have started to call me, Kung Fu at the plate. <laughs> that is a funny one. I believe that, that the children are the future, you know, and if you, if you teach them well and, and let them lead the way, you know, and show them all the, the beauty, if you will, they possess inside and give them a sense of pride to make it easier and let the children's laughter remind us how we used to be. I decided long ago never to walk in, in anyone's shadow. 
If I fail, if I succeed, at least I'll live as I believe. No matter what they take from me, they can't take away my dignity. Because the greatest love of all. <laughs> what, at what point, Dave, did you realize I was singing Whitney Houston? I actually would, thinking about it, would enjoy more having a dad like my dad than having like a normal dad because he's like really fun to be around. Look, here we go, ready? No! No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh! <laughs> That's one! Oh, a smile! Look at it! Yeah, everybody knows Bates is crazy, you know, but it's it's just just shy of being crazy crossing that line into really having to worry about him. Can you spare some dip? Would you be so kind? Go for it! <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna hate us in Knoxville. We'll never come get coffee or ice cream or fake coffees at Simplify. Yeah. <laughs> come on, just let me grab you for a second. They want to see you. This is the first rooster we've had that we haven't named after a Will Ferrell character. We've had a Ron Burgundy and a Chaz Michael Michaels, but this is El Guapo. El Guapo's my favorite bird. And this is my barn studio where I do some painting. Come on. Well, I can uh, come back here and get kind of messy and not get in trouble. As you can see, this wouldn't be good on the kitchen table or the garage floor. So uh, it's kind of nice to have a little barn where you can hang out with the birds and do a little bit of painting. A whole lot of brushes, a whole lot of paint and a whole lot of sloppiness. It's actually pretty clean right now, just for you guys. Give them a nice big fix your, fix your comb, man. You're on TV for the first time ever. When I met James and saw his work, I, I was, was really dazzled by it. The humor is absolutely priceless. It's very spot on, and uh, it helps people access the artwork also because they can see his message. He tells a lot about the people, not only with the way they look, but with the things that he says about them that paints more of a depth in the picture. You get the respect of, of people like Phyllis Delaney at the Harn, um, that, hey, um, we'd like one of your pieces in the president's house. You know, and <laughs> that's, uh, you know, from from a, an artist's perspective, that's that's pretty cool. Guys, settle down. <laughs> we're, we're doing an interview in here. El Guapo. And so, hey. top of love in Gainesville and we've raised our kids here we love it here you know this swamp ended up being so much more than just a place to go play big-time college football my wife Tina uh, she was a swimmer from Illinois and so we met in the dining hall so many just just great memories of really growing up together the two of us and, and growing up with all my friends here in Gainesville, right here in, in the swamp. If she's here one day, throwing out a bunch of dust, don't tell anyone, because she'll probably get in trouble. That's just me. She, that's all I wanted. That and some, some bagpipes like in Tommy Boy, playing Amazing Grace. That'd be pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Honestly, like, I really, really, really love my dad. Like, a lot of people say how they, like, couldn't ask for, like, oh, you're the best dad in the world, but, like, I truly mean that I really love him. I love my dad a lot. He's, like, my best friend. We have such a great family. It's just, it's great. It's a great environment for the kids, and we definitely know that he loves us and that he cares about us. When you say football out here, and Mike Peterson, I want to say he loved the game. Outside of the game, he loved his family, loved his community, you know. So I, I, I credit a lot of that, you know, to James Bates. 
Yeah, he's a, he's a guy that uh, really cares a lot about people around him. And um, it's no coincidence that he was one of the captains on that 96 national championship team between Warfel and, and Lawrence Wright and James Bates. Those are guys that um, not only were great football players, but had big hearts. And, and Bates, you know, maybe the most amongst all those guys. Since I've known James in the, um, I'm, I guess you're looking at almost 24 years, you know, that's just something he's, he loves to make people around him happy or people around him laugh. Man, James Bates has more energy and passion for the things that he gets involved with than most people I know. Look, look, see? Who, we me? just, we Who, just me? talked about <laughs> <laughs> You know, about the time you think you got it figured out, then you hear about the folk art, and then you hear about the documentaries, and then you hear about my wife who was the four or five time All-America swimmer, or my kids who are very successful in school and very talented athletes, or my dad who coached in the NFL and at all levels of college, and you start thinking, what's next? <laughs>